Right, in this video, I want to talk about um, perception, power of the mind, and proper orientation of the mind because uh, the implications for these things are very far reaching and um, they permeate every aspect of this reality that we are a part of. So it behooves us to devote enough time to um, proper understanding of these concepts and seeking out the information that's going to allow us to uh, more effectively integrate with them. So I just want to start out by saying that um, it is a universal truth, as far as I can tell, that reality exists in the mind and not outside. And everything that we perceive with our perceptive faculties is a projection of the orientation of our minds and the level of consciousness that we're at. So. And it doesn't take much uh, introspection and much contemplation to arrive at these conclusions because it's a funny thing about universal truths. Um, they seem to be able to be deduced with um, Very little effort, but the effort must come from a place of humility and a true desire to grow and to learn. So your motives must be pure. But I just want to say that. Well, I want to I want to um, read this quote from Napoleon Hill's book Think and Grow Rich, which I highly recommend. On the, surface is, on the surface, you would think that it is concerned with the acquisition of riches and monetary gain and materialism and all of this stuff, which it is and which is it uh, has spiritual components to those seemingly reductionistic, materialistic things as well, because, you know, there's a spiritual aspect to all things, but on a deeper level, it's concerned with the proper orientation of the mind so that the reality that is projected out and back at you is a favorable one as the orientation of your mind is a favorable orientation. So I just want to read this uh, passage here and it says, all sense impressions which are perceived through the five senses are stopped by the conscious thinking mind and may be either passed on to the subconscious mind or rejected at will. The conscious faculty serves, therefore, as an outer guard to the approach of the subconscious. And why this is important is because uh, contained within these words here is the idea that you play an active role in the orientation of your mind. Ideally, you are not just a passenger or a passive bystander in this uh, scenario here, but you play an active role. Second, it is that the conscious mind is a product of the subconscious. The subconscious mind directs your thoughts, which will direct your actions which will then bleed into your reality because reality is made up of your thoughts, your actions, the orientation of your mind. But you must pay tremendous attention to the things that you allow to pass your conscious into your subconscious for that reason, because your reality will be colored by it, will be dictated by it. And before you know it, um, this will be your default. All of the narratives, all of the preconceptions, 
all of the things that you perceive a certain way, uh, once you allow them to pass to the subconscious, they become so deeply ingrained in your psyche, they become your default way of being. So you want to take extreme care by what you allow your default way of being to be because it's your default way of being. So it's going to be the means by which you interact and interface with the reality around you. So as it says here, the conscious thinking mind may be either passed to the subconscious mind or rejected at will. So when you have a thought, which is a form of energy, a thought, imp a thought impulse is nothing more than a neutral form of energy. It's the meaning that you give to it. It's the way that you allow it, the life that you breathe into it, so to speak. As a story of God breathing life into man, and then man became conscious, then man became an agent with its own power and stuff. Took on a life of its own. The life that you breathe into these thoughts and these things allows them to take on a life of their own. And another thing is that um, this can work for you in the positive or the negative. The universe does not discriminate between constructive forces and destructive forces. So just be mindful of this stuff. Uh, I'll try my best to explain this. As I said in my previous video, I'm not the best orator, but I'm working on it. And it's just my desire in these videos to utilize my gifts that I've been given to benefit others and to explore these aspects of consciousness and um you know self-actualization and uh self-improvement consciousness ascension all of these things that uh, i'm concerned with and that i've been gifted with over the years of my own suffering and my own struggles and my own introspection and my own philosophical um exploration and stuff so what you want to make sure you're doing is passing only the highest of vibration and the highly virtuous thoughts to your subconscious mind because as I said once they be once they permeate the subconscious they, they take root there and then your reality is dictated by your mind and there's evidence of this all around reality exists in the mind not outside the outside is a projection of the inside so make sure you spend the time proving your thoughts subjecting them to the proper logic and reason and the proper vibration and the high level vibrations so that the law of attraction when it kicks in will reflect back at you the same level of high vibration and you will not be subdued or subverted by the low level vibrations that are all around and they're very easy to find and you don't want to align with them because very quickly you can find yourself spiraling out of control in reality taking a turn for the worse so um another passage here which explains this very well from napoleon hill's think and grow rich is the following recall what has been said about the subconscious mind resembling a fertile garden spot in which weeds will grow in abundance if the seeds of more desirable crops are not sown there Auto-suggestion is the agency of control through which an individual may voluntarily feed the subconscious mind thoughts of a creative nature or by neglect permit thoughts of a destructive nature finding their way into the rich garden of the mind. So it's using the uh, analogy of the garden, which the mind is, and that which you plant in there is what's going to be the dominating crop or the, uh, you know, destructive thoughts, thoughts that are destructive in nature or constructive in nature. So, um, the other thing is I said that thoughts are in and of themselves neutral. The subconscious mind acts on these things only when they are mixed with, um, very potent emotions, the higher emotions, which are faith, you know, these sorts of things, love, um, 
that is what gives energy and life to the neutral thought impulse which is just a form of energy so your subconscious mind is going to pick up on these things when they've been properly imbued with high level vibrations which are the main one being faith so just be careful when be careful with your mind take an active role in managing it in building it up in filling it up in orientating it and all of these things and make sure that you only allow to the best of your ability because we're all human we're all fallible we all make mistakes but make sure you make an effort and you take an active role in what passes your conscious to your subconscious because this is going to dictate your reality your thoughts your actions what's projected back at you what's reflected back at you and just try your best to manage this process make sure what passes to the subconscious mind and what you give your energy to and what you imbue with faith and the like are thoughts and vibrations that you want to be there. Uh, don't be careless with this, it's very important. And as I go on in these videos, hopefully I get better and um, I get better at articulating what I'm trying to say. So these videos are not exhaustive, they're not gonna be perfect, but I just hope that whoever needs to hear these messages and see them, get something out of them and feel free to comment, to suggest things. I hope you subscribe. Um, I hope you add your own stuff because we all have our unique perspectives and our unique vantage points. And um, let me know any suggestions, anything you want me to talk about. Uh, this subject that I'm talking about in this video is very in-depth and uh, it's a very deep rabbit hole. So um, I can only barely scratch the surface, but I'm going to continue making these videos as they occur to me. And I uh, hope you guys like it. So stay tuned for more and uh, consider liking and subscribing to my channel. And, um, you know, hopefully we um, influence people in a positive way with this. All right.